Budget LS Factory 5 Roadster build update coming right up. So now that the car is on the ground, I can see how low it is and taking a measurement from the bottom of that uh, engine mount to the bottom of that frame rail is only a few inches. So it's obvious that this uh, truck, stock truck oil pan is gonna be too deep. So I need a shallower pan. I called around and uh, the uh, Holly, I think it's uh, part number 302-1. So we're gonna be installing that. We're also gonna take a measurement from the engine mount to the bottom of that pan and compare it to what I got on the car. Hopefully it's gonna be enough. In addition, we're gonna change the uh, rear main seal um, on the uh, engine. I've never done either uh, by myself, so hopefully I do it right. Let me know in the comments if I did. I've watched about a thousand videos of this very thing, so uh, lots of different ways to do it, but I'm gonna try and stick to the professional way in addition, we're going to be removing um, the air conditioning pump and bracket off of the engine here today. Well, if we take a look at my motor here, you can see there's a little bit of oil here. And uh, I don't know, that th this looks like it's coming from this rear main seal here. If it slings up on here. All of this right here, it looks like it's being slung this way. So I definitely think it needs to be replaced. Fortunately, I don't see any oil up in here. What is that, the cam sensor right here? I see dirt in there though, that's gonna be cleaned out. But uh, see all this here? This may come from, this may come from a pan leak right here, but they're both gonna be replaced. Um, this rear cover with the rear main seal and the new uh, holly pan on there. Hopefully I don't screw this up. I think that makes for a better look. Well, let's take a look at what we got. Boy, I sure don't like the looks of that. That is not pretty. There's a bit of sludge down there too. Nah, not good. I would have liked to have seen a much cleaner pan, that is for sure.
Thanks for watching.